Hey everyone, this is David with davidspassage.com and today we're coming to you with a gear mod video. Today I'm modifying the Pathfinder stainless steel cook set. Stick around. So if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you know I've really grown to love these this Pathfinder cook set. It's a three-piece cook set, at least it's three-piece when I got it. Stainless steel water bottle with a heavy-duty plastic lid. Although the new ones have a different lid nowadays. It comes with a stainless steel, I don't want to say like an alpine cup, but it's got these, you know, butterfly folding, or the, it's got the folding handles on it. The thing I really love about it is the uh, markers on the inside that tell how much liquid you've got going on in there. Another thing about the cup, it has these holes in the, either side of them where you can put like a fish mouth spreader and then hang it over a fire. Then it has this lid lid's really nice all stainless steel you've got a couple slots where those fish mouth spreaders can can go in and then you've got a little pour spout a little uh, uh little straining edge there if you've been following my channel recently you know that i'm in a series on wild edible plants and one of the things that's really handy to be able to do with your food is to steam it so today's mod what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to make a nesting steamer for this cook set to do this you're only going to need a few things this is an aluminum grill topper. You can buy these at Walmart or dollar stores, or I'll put a link in the description where you can pick one up as well. This one is an 11 inch by seven inch. It's a disposable grill topper. You're gonna need a pair of tin snips of some kind. These are kind of old and rusty, but these work really well. You're gonna want a permanent marker. I'm also gonna use a paper plate. The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just setting my paper plate down. That's really just kind of a visual base to give it a little bit of contrast. I'm gonna take my the cut portion Flip it upside down. Try to center it on the grill topper. Next thing I'm gonna do, pushing down kind of lightly, I'm gonna take my permanent marker and begin to make a circle. Making sure to hold that cup down real good. Maybe a little harder to see on the plate. Maybe if I tip it like that, you can kind of see the circle on the uh, the grill topper itself. What I want to do is I want to kind of mark or find, you know, just sort of an inch right in the middle of the circle. Just sort of guesstimate where the middle of the circle is. And I'm going to cut a strip to the edge, just about an inch all the way to there. What I'm kind of doing is I'm kind of finding a line I'm just gonna start cutting in there. You know, and it's okay to go wider, because if you need to go shorter in a little bit, that's not gonna be too hard. But if you cut too thin, you gotta start all over again. Of course, these things are less than a dollar, I think, so. Now that I've cut in from the side, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut around the perimeter of the circle that I drew. You could probably use wire cutters for this if you don't have tin snips. Use a Dremel tool to do this. And so that's what we have. Now I can see my, my bands are a little wider than I need them to be, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually trim those down a little bit. That should be pretty good. What I wanna do is I'm gonna seat it in Easy way to do that is I just take a full water bottle, center that rack there, put the bottle on top and just start to kind of manipulate it a little bit. So it kind of sinks in. You can push it all the way down if you want. Bottle comes right out. You pull this out. Just kind of manipulate that out. And a lot of times it wants to get caught as it comes out and to just remedy that just take these tines and sort of bend them up all right so now the last thing i do is that you know i'm going to put this down in here to a spot where you know a level where i could put about a cup of water underneath that grate and then i'm going to take the tops here and just bend them over like that a downside to this though is the lid doesn't doesn't fit snugly on. I mean, it, if you shove it on, you can you can get it to fit on there. 
nice and snug but it's not meant like that and it makes it hard to pull the top off and if you've got a hot pot of water in there you don't want to have to fight with the lid to get it off you know and then when you're done after you clean it and whatnot just rinse it off you can just shove it back down in the cup like that one thing I would just sort of warn you about I'd, I'd imagine after a while you know bending these over you know it's gonna cause some weak points here that's to kind of be expected and you're gonna break them um, but you know I, th I think I paid a dollar for three of these things so <laughs> not too big of a deal and what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna test it out got some baby carrots we're gonna test it out with pour some water in there for the bottom put the lid on and I'm gonna use my trusty alcohol stove here I made show you know this is the same stove I made in that video what three years ago now it seems and the thing still works like a charm I'm put that alcohol stove in here so I don't burn my house down light her up let that prime a bit all right those jets are out Time to put the food on. Let that go until I start seeing steam come out the top. And then I'll wait a little bit more. Um, let that water kind of boil off and tenderize them carrots. about done let's try them and find out I'd say those are pretty done one thing I'll say is you know being aluminum these cool off pretty quick but if you're one of those if you like to cook by a fire if the flames lick this these are gonna degrade a lot faster and then when you're done you can kind of just pinch the two ends together just be careful and pull them out just like that. So let's talk a little bit about why you would want to do something like this. A couple reasons. First of all, you want to poach a fish. You don't want to boil the fish in water. And maybe you don't want to cook it on the fire necessarily. If you want to poach it, you can cut it up and use this to poach it. Also, one of the things I like to look out for on the trail are wild edibles. And sometimes some wild edibles are better steamed, in my opinion, like uh, stinging nettle. You know, my opinion, it's much better steamed than boiled and you can't really cook it over the fire. So something like that would warrant wanting to have a little contraption like this. You know, also, if you're just going camping, you're not going on a long hike and you wanna bring some vegetables like carrots or whatever that you steam and eat, you know, that's perfect for this. So those are just a few of the more practical uses for something like this. Again, super cheap, super easy to build. And really, you could do it in almost any nesting cup set. One of the things I appreciate about the Pathfinder cook set is it has a little bit of a gap between the cup and the bottle so that you could just stick something like this right in there and it will still nest with your cook set. I'll put a link in the description where you can pick up one of these sets. I really think there's something else. They're really a neat, just a real durable, well thought out cook set. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Appreciate you guys tagging along for this. If you like the video, definitely thumbs up it, share it with a friend, you know, comment and subscribe. That really does help the channel out. And stay tuned for more Wild Edible videos coming up. I'll probably be utilizing something like this in those videos just to kind of show you some more practical uses for it on the trail. Again, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video, or we'll see you outdoors. Take care.